What's up everybody, welcome back to Mr. Martin's Classroom. Today we're going to finish off our train project by assembling all the pieces that we have made in our previous videos. To begin, we're going to click the insert button in our assembly. So we're in this, I should begin by saying we're in an assembly file. Uh, we're going to click the insert button and we're going to select the body. And then we're going to click in our workspace and then select the cow catcher. And click in our workspace and then hit the green check mark. And we are going to be using this constraint, the fastened mate almost exclusively, actually completely exclusively for this entire assembly. So we're gonna click this and then we're gonna select that part of this top peg and then the outside of this hole right there. And then we're gonna click the green check mark here and our cow catcher is assembled. So if we look here, it's all lined up and everything looks great. Next, we're going to place the stack in. So we're gonna insert the stack, click here, click the green check. And we are going to be inserting the bottom of the stack into the bottom of the hole. So we're gonna again do fasten to mate. I'm gonna rotate this a little bit and we're gonna select this bottom surface. Let's move it around a little bit and the bottom there and we're gonna hit the check mark here um, I found that when you hit the check mark on that contextual pop-up window it doesn't do what I want it to do so hitting it up here tends to be the better option so our stack is inserted now next up we're going to put in the hitch magnet and hitch pin so insert hitch magnet hitch pin green check mark and we're going to insert the pin into the magnet first so fastened mate here and here and then we're going to fasten mate right we're going to fasten mate here and let's zoom out or just go here and let's see rotate it so we can see the back and then we're going to fasten mate that here now what this does is it actually puts the magnet inside the body of the train that's all we want so we want to need to we're going to need to flip it around so we can hit the flip primary access button and that puts the magnet on the outside if we hit the green mark everything looks great there as well so we have the stack the cow catcher uh, hitch magnet and the hitch pin all attached properly to the train body. All right, so now we're going to do the wheel and the axle. So we're going to insert and we're going to just do one wheel and one axle peg. And we're going to go ahead and insert the axle peg into the wheel. So we're gonna rotate this around so we can see we're gonna do that section of the axle peg. So basically the top of the cylindrical section with this part of the hole in the wheel. Again, that's the wrong direction. So we can click flip primary axis and that will get it to look how we want it to go. Now we need to get the axle peg into the hole in the train body. Gotta move the wheel a little bit. To do that, we're gonna select fastened mate and then that part of the pin or sorry of the peg and that part of the hole and that's all fastened in perfectly now so we're going to do something that we haven't done before and we're going to copy or sorry we're going to select the wheel and the axle peg and then we're going to copy them so copy two items and then paste two items and that gets us another copy of the wheel and axle and it maintains the constraint that we had previously which is really nice so now we're going to do the same thing we did with the other wheel and axle right there and here hit okay and we have our wheel and two wheels and axles uh, placed in to our assembly next up we're going to put in the 
hitch pin, sorry, not the hitch pin, the linkage pin in the linkage arm, or the linkage peg in the linkage arm. So that'll go here, here, and here. And we're going to insert the linkage pegs into the linkage arm in a similar fashion to what we did with the wheel and axle. So I'm going to click here and there. And I need to flip it. And do the same thing with the other linkage peg here and here. Let me make that second click. Here, here, nope, one, two, nope. That's not what we want. Try again. There, one, and two. And flip it. All right. So we have the uh, linkage arm and pegs here. Now we only, since this is a cosmetic assembly, we really only need to fasten one of these pegs into the wheel. Um, if you were going to run a simulation, you would definitely need to do both of them. But since we're just doing this for looks right now, we're gonna do a fastened weight and we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna do like the halfway mark of the um, linkage peg. It'll snap to that here. And then this tiny hole that we have here. And that'll get our linkage arm and pegs into our wheels. So that's looking great. I actually like the two-tone color here. I'm should have uh, changed these pegs to be gray as well. Oh, well. Um, so we have half or one side of our train done. We need to get the other side done now. And to do that, we're going to select. Actually, to do that, let's just make one copy of our wheel and axle. So that'd be part six and part seven. So we're going to copy those, paste those, copy. And so when we have done that, we've made one copy. It's not oriented correctly. So we're going to select both of those. And you can see that we have the option to rotate about axes. So we're going to grab this axis and rotate it 180 degrees. And hit enter. Type 180, hit enter and click off of it and our wheel is now situated in the way that we want it to be. Uh, so now we're going to insert the wheel into the hole here. There's one. And we're going to select this wheel and axle again, copy, paste, do the same thing with this other wheel and axle. And that gets us our wheels and axles here. Now we're gonna drop in our linkage arm and pegs. So not a fasten, insert. Linkage arm and two linkage pegs. One and two, oops, hit the wrong button. All right, linkage arm, linkage peg one, linkage peg two, green check mark. All right, here we go. So we're gonna get our linkage pegs into the linkage arm and then get our linkage pegs into the wheels. So here we go, linkage peg into the hole and flip it around, linkage, green check mark, linkage peg, into the hole, flip it around, green check mark. All right, that looks great. Look at it from the other side now. And we're going to select right here. And this hole, and the green check mark. And we have a completed train. So it's fully assembled now. Uh, you can look at it from all the different angles. It has all the parts that we made. 
It looks really cool. Feel free to change it to any color that you want. Um, I would do that before I changed anything. I started assembling, I would change the parts to the colors that I wanted them to be. Um, when you are taking pictures for me and putting them into your assignment, I want this view and then the backside view. Um, actually, this view. So the back left view and the front right view. So I can see all the facets of everything that you did. Well, hopefully you found this video helpful and you're able to get all of this done. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a message and we will talk to you later.